Drinking milk and a large beer glass. Because adulthood. Good afternoon everyone, my name of course is Artemich and this is day 16 of Vita. And we are more than halfway done, which takes a lot of pressure off me. Though, we still have just under halfway to go, which puts that pressure back on. So today I got some good news that I really want to share. So, it's going to be one of those a day in my life videos, which I know a lot of people aren't fans of, but maybe you'll sit through this and celebrate with me. So for the past few years, I've been working in an industrial environment. Started at a place called Orlick Industries in March of 2013 as a CNC machine operator, which just basically meant take die cast part, place the machine, let machine run, come back six minutes later after doing the same thing with about five more machines, take part out, put new part in, repeat. I wasn't keen on that particular job, but finding out about this kind of industry did fascinate me and Orlick had a will pay for your schooling if it's work related program so I was looking into that. Mind you they spent so much time dragging their feet and being unable to accommodate any basic request or my volunteering for their request that I found a new job. I now work in a machine shop that deals with refurbishing train axles and wheels. And most of it is not CNC, but it's similar. There are a few CNC machines, which are just the lathes. And all in all, the job accommodates me way better. That being said, my interest in pursuing the CNC thing has not waned. And so this September, I am intending on returning under Mohawk's continuing education program for the CNC certificate course. Now that means that over the next coming months, I was expecting it to save a fair bit of money. I'm looking at trying to move out of this apartment with my roommate and probably a couple of other people. Especially since the dog could use the yards, we were going to look at house or townhouse. And that was going to require a bit of investment. As well as simply saving up for school and making sure I can do some of my leisure activities. You know, I've got Anime North coming up at the end of next month. I have Broadsword and Ad Astra. I have Con Bravo in July. And I was certainly intent on, for the most part, just attending these, which is typically what I do most years. I don't spend a lot of money at conventions, but I do like to make sure that I can grab a meal with friends, or if there is something that really catches my eye, I might buy one or two things at a convention. However, my father and I talked today, given that it is Easter Sunday, and he has informed me of that he's basically going to be pulling an Abe Simpson. He has decided that he is going to provide my two brothers and myself each $5,000 to invest in bettering our futures. Now, he said this and at first I was just kind of in a state of shock like I'm just getting money. I, I don't just get money. I, I don't expect to just get money. I don't think I'm entitled to it. I am quite satisfied working for a living. The most that comes to where I would expect to just get money is amongst a few people who still owe me some money from previous circumstances. Once the cobwebs cleared from that initial shock, it was just a case of, well, now I don't have to worry about school. And that has taken just a huge weight off of me overall. I basically am going to take that money and put two grand of it into a tax-free savings account. That's the most you can have in such an account. And the rest will probably go into an RESP. Um, I've, that's my initial consideration. I will have to look at options through my financial institution to see what would best suit me. I might even call them up to figure that all out. But the highlight of my day is I have one less large expense that I don't have to worry about. And that is not a small thing. There are a lot of people out there who would love the opportunity to better their circumstances, but school is prohibitively expensive. Even up here in Canada where for my first year of software engineering, back about almost 10 years ago, a little more than, it was about $10,000 for three semesters. Now, that's not an enormous amount, but it still is a significant amount. Like, if you are looking at someone who's working part-time as a high school student, you're going to be seeing them saving most of that income to be able to afford schooling if they don't want to go the student loan route. And obviously a lot of places 
prefer to hire older students or a lot of jobs aren't suited until you are an older student for situations such as being able to drive as a delivery driver or being able to stay out later for closing shifts or overnight stock, things like that. So you often find these people taking out loans anyway to afford to continue to pay for school as they're already in it. So I'm really quite excited about that. I feel a lot better and my only hope is that other people can find similar opportunities that benefit them so. We're certainly in a state where a lot of career options are going to close to people due to population levels and automation. But in the meantime, it's nice to know that I'm going to be able to take care of myself once I do this all right. So I wish everyone out there who's looking towards something similar to themselves the best of luck, and I will talk to you tomorrow.